Hey, what's up, Amelia here? Let's see what's making news. A new study has found humans are putting way more methane into the atmosphere than we originally thought, and that could have some big consequences for our planet. Yep, methane is a greenhouse gas, and it's a bad one. In fact, methane traps in about 30 times more heat than carbon dioxide. Where does it come from? Well, great question. Basically, there's two sources, natural and man-made. You can find it coming out here, or here, or even out here. Anyway, for a long time, scientists thought about 35% of all methane came from natural sources like this. But turns out, not the case. A new study from the US has found that almost 99% of all the Earth's methane come from man-made sources. The researchers looked at methane in ice from before the Industrial Revolution and found there was a lot less than first thought. In fact, only around 1.5 million tonnes of methane was around before humans did this. But now it's close to 200 million. The experts reckon that the level of natural methane wouldn't have changed much over time, and so all that extra gas must have come from the humans. You gassy goobers. This isn't totally a bad thing, though. Because most of the methane comes from us, it means we can fix it. The researchers say it would require a massive global effort to get those levels down. And to really fix the climate, we have to help in lots of different ways. It turns out bumblebees are really, really smart and furry. Well, we already made the second bit. A team of scientists have just discovered that bumblebees can recognise objects by sight, even if they've only ever felt the objects. They stuck bees in a dark environment where they could only rely on touch to find certain shapes. With the lights on, the bees recognised the same shapes just by seeing them. It's called mental imagery, and it's something we humans have too. So cool. It's International Mother Language Day, which is all about celebrating the world's languages. Here's our rookie reporter, Arush, to tell you all about it. Namaste, Kim Chobitian. My name is Arush and I'm 12 years old. Namaste means hello in Gujarati or in Hindi. Did you know there are around 200 languages in Australia? And about 7,000 languages are spoken around the world. I was born in uh, India, Nandurbar, Maharashtra, and I came. To, I moved to Australia two years ago. We speak different languages in our home. I speak uh, Marathi, Marathi, Gujarati, and sometimes Hindi. In her at home, I speak Gujarati with my uh, mom, dad, my brother, grandparents. Hi, mommy. And at school, sometimes I speak Hindi or English. It's really fun to speak more than one language. Did you know that in India there are 22 official languages? Gujarati is spoken by about 55 million people. Wherever I go in the world, my languages will always be a part of who I am. Aujo, happy Mother Language Day to everyone. Bye bye. Since it's the end of the week, let's celebrate all of the hardworking people around the world with this next segment. Because sometimes work is hard. Being a cadet in the Russian Far Eastern Military Academy sure sounds tough. Apparently, you have to learn how to ski jump behind a horse at speeds of almost 40 k's an hour. Not sure why, but it sure looks like hard work. OK, it actually looks really fun. Sign me up. I'm moving to Russia. Being a construction worker is hard, right? Especially when your job involves rescuing a big old basset hound from a river. The dog named Buddy was probably doing some sniffing around when it got trapped under some weeds on the banks of this river in the US. Luckily, a whole bunch of workers came to its rescue. And you might remember this moment from the NBA's dunk contest this week. Well, what could be harder work than dunking over 2.36 metre tall taco fall? How about dunking over not one, but two tacos? This is former NBA star Marcus Johnson still putting in the hard work. 64, and I'm still dunking. Well, that's all the news for this week, but make sure you check out the rest of the videos on our channel and you can also hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching.